All our staff are outstanding, which leads to outstanding critical care. I think we're lucky to have a very strong multidisciplinary team which involves therapists, doctors, nurses of all grades and bands and I think we've got a united purpose that we work for the patient to make sure that our patients and families get the best care. We're outstanding because we use data and information to drive our innovation. We provide outstanding critical care because we work seamlessly across two major hospitals. So one of the patients have just said to me today is that we actually listen to the patients and their needs and act on them. Um, we've helped uh, introduce uh, safety huddles um, onto our unit which in turn improves quality care to our patients and improves the safety and support of our staff. Collaboration is a key part of my work. I take a little bit of work off everybody else and that allows them to be outstanding. We have a 24-7 outreach service on both sides of the city which is outstanding for patients and staff. We're outstanding because we are expanding our workforce including advanced critical care practitioners. We are outstanding because we have a dedicated critical care course for our nurses. We are outstanding critical care because of the comprehensive induction programme we offer to our new starters. I think that we're outstanding because of the introduction of the Leeds Improvement Method. It just makes me really proud and excited to come into work every day. In 2016, the CQC identified that the nursing workforce within adult critical care were not meeting the requirements outlined by Intensive Care National Guidelines. Only 17% of our nurses had a critical care qualification. The national requirement was 50%. And so we developed a critical care course in partnership with Manchester Metropolitan University. This has been a long process, but one that as a CSU we are extremely proud of. Access to this course is available to all nurses working in critical care throughout West Yorkshire. Critical care is made up of five units over two sites. The CQC report in 2016 gave adult critical care a requires improvement rating and recognised that the two sites worked independently. In 2018 we introduced a new structure into the patient floor team. This consists of a designated matron, team leader and six experienced critical care nurses. This has saved 539 critical care bed days and reduced elective patient cancellations by 12.5%. I'm really exceptionally proud of our patient flow team who enable a sustainable future for the sickest patients in our hospital and have helped us to be outstanding as per the CQC. One of the best things that we've done for patients and for staff in a boost to bid patient experience and morale has been Maggie, the therapy dog. So when we visit patients, they say that Maggie's brought a, a bit of normality to their day, made them smile, reminded them of home a bit, maybe given them a bit of uh, inspiration to work that bit harder with their rehabilitation and, and get home sooner but they really enjoy just just interacting with the dog she doesn't answer back and she's not ex got any ex expectations so it's a real calming experience for patients and uh, and they really seem to enjoy it as a general manager in adult critical care every day I see a team of strong leaders everywhere who take great care of our people so that they can take great care of our patients they're committed and passionate and work hard to engage with all of our staff and empower them. They inspire each other and have developed a culture of continuous improvement, asking every day how can we make this better for our patients. They connect daily work with great goals. We call ourselves Outstanding Critical Care and so do the CQC.